The blood is applied. If that boy calls out and says, Jesus, I'm sorry. I need you to be my Lord God. God will save him, amen, amen. to God. He will forgive him and wash him in the blood, amen, amen. to God. Amen. But the modern day people and the religious people would say, no, let the man go to hell. No, praise God, he's got a soul that needs to be saved, Come amen, on. to God. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're done singing, brother. Praise God. I tell you, I, I'm still a little bit bothered by when they found, uh, who was it, uh, uh, Bin Laden, Osama Bin Laden, <coughs> and they executed him the way they did. And, and what bothered me, not so much that, but it was the way America acted afterwards, having parties and stuff. I tell you, it bothered me because to see believers rejoicing over that, I'm not condoning what he did. But I tell you, we needed to be praying for that man, for those people, amen to God. Praying for him, amen to God. Hallelujah. Thank God for our military and our soldiers that, amen to God, fight for our freedom. But we need to pray for them because they need some spiritual freedom, amen? Amen. Glory to God. I know I'll get something said about that. Somebody thinking I'm an Obama, I mean a Bin Laden lover. But no, I care about their souls. That's right. And that's what we all need to be Come doing on. tonight. Amen? That's right. yeah. Glory Amen. to God. Go with me in your Bibles to 2 Samuel tonight. Chapter 23. Amen to God. I got a little word tonight that praise God. It's a much needed word in this time and day in which we live in this hour. And I'll tell you tonight, church, God, God is speaking to us in every way, whether it be, praise <laughs> God, through an audible voice, through His Word, through things that are happening out here in the world today. He's trying to get our attention, trying to get us to focus and get our eyes back on Him. Praise God. I know we all get busy from day-to-day -day life with our jobs, with our families, with our activities and, and all this stuff, but we need to set aside a time, praise God, to start involving Jesus in our lives. Amen, God. More than anything else, we need to have family time where we have altars at home, praise God, where we pray together as a family. Where we get down and read the Word of God. Did you hear me? Where we read the Word of God. Hallelujah. Not let somebody else do it for us or for our kids or for our wives or husbands. But we need to do it together. Amen to God. We need to cut the TVs off. Sit down with the Word of God from a King James Bible. I still believe in that. Amen to God. Amen. And start letting the Word have run and reign in our homes. Amen. Amen. We would see a difference today if the Word of God ruled our homes. Yeah. If we, amen to God, obey the Word of God like it said do, we'd see, praise God, a generation that would change, amen to God. We wouldn't see a bunch of stiff neck, hallelujah to God, devils running around here in the name of God doing something, amen to God, they shouldn't be doing. I said in the name of God, what God, amen to God. Yeah. You can't get nobody to even say the name Jesus without there being persecution. Come on. They ain't even preaching it in the pulpits anymore. They're saying God loves you. Hallelujah. God is merciful. What God are you talking about? The Bible says he was given a name above all names. Come Praise on, God. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue to confess. Amen to God. Amen. That's the name we need to be preaching today. Not God, but Jesus. Come on. Glory to God. 2 Samuel chapter 23, beginning in verse 9 and 10. Amen. And when you have it, say amen. Glory to God. Let's stand to your feet for the reading of God. Just respect. Let's just give God some respect. Let's give the Lord Jesus some respect. Amen to God. Because He's worthy of it. Amen. Hallelujah. And after him was Eliezer, or Eliezer, <coughs> some say that, the son of Dodo the Ahite, one of the three mighty men with David, when they defiled the Philistines that were gathered together to battle. And the men of Israel were gone away. Verse 10, And he arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was weary. And his hand, now I want you to pay particular attention to this part. And his hand clave unto the sword. And the Lord wrought a great victory that day, and the people were turned after him only to spoil. We notice here Elijah. He was in a battle here, amen to God. But did you notice it said, He smote the Philistines until his hand was weary, and he clave unto the sword, amen to God. He had a weapon to use, amen to God. And he clave unto it, praise God. 
when you got a weapon to use and you're going into battle, you hold on to that thing, amen to God. Yeah. You hold on to it with a firm grip, praise God. Now I want you to look at this in the spiritual. We need to take that sword, amen to God, which is the word of God that is said in the book of Ephesians, amen to God. Take that sword of the spirit, praise God, and go into battle and defeat the devil with it. What am I saying? The sword is the word of God. You overcome the devil with the word of Almighty God, amen to God. That is your, amen to God, protection. That is your sword. That is your weapon to use, praise God. And I want to talk to you tonight, praise God, about I have a weapon to use. Now, why don't you use it, amen to God? I have a weapon to use. Now, why don't you use it? Father, we come before you now in the wonderful name of Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity to get to break oh, your word tonight. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would minister to every heart here tonight at VOTO. Lord, those that are watching by YouTube, Lord, or listening by the VOTO radio, whatever avenue, Lord God, bless them, Lord God. You promised your word would not return void, dear God. And we just pray right now you would minister to the lost and dying on their way to hell. Minister to the backslidden soul, the backslidden preacher, dear God. Lord, prick their heart and bring them back, dear God. Minister to the homosexual who's in bondage, dear God, and set them free. Minister to those who are in depression, dear God. Those on the verge of suicide, dear God. Those on the verge, dear God, walking away from you. Lord God, bring them back, Lord God, by the Holy Ghost, Lord. In the wonderful, mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, heal those that are sick in their body, dear God. In Jesus' name we ask this, Lord. Let us, Lord, open our, our ears, Lord, to this word. Lord, let us hide behind the cross and decrease as you increase, Lord. Lord. In Jesus' precious name. And the church said, Amen. And amen. Go ahead and say it again if you believe it. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. We have a weapon to use. And why don't we use it? Amen to God. Come on. I'm telling you today, church, this word is for this day and this hour. Because people are running to and fro to everything to either find peace in it, find comfort, find satisfaction, amen to God. And they're not running to Jesus. We're running to every other thing but Jesus. He's like the last result that this, this world has made it. You don't go to Jesus till you're in bondage, until you're on the very brink of almost death. I mean, I, how many have ever heard, amen to God, testimonies or stories of people that... They would go to the Lord when all else failed. Come on. Now thank God they did that. Don't get me wrong. But why is he always the last resort? Come on. Why is he always when it's down to nothing and it's just absolute hopeless and there's no no way that anybody else can help but him? Why do you wait to him make him the last choice? Why not make him the first choice yes. to go to? Come on. I don't understand that. As, as a Christian myself, as a minister, why people don't seek the Lord? Why they don't go to the Word? I mean, they'll spend all day in a doctor's office to get a prescription so they can go to a pharmacy, take that stuff, and keep their bodies doped uh -huh. up. Come on now, I know this will preach, amen to God. Somebody help me, amen to God. They'll spend amen. all day in a therapist, amen to God, telling them their problems, but they won't dare open their mouth and say, Lord, here's what's going on. Because he already knows what's going on, amen to God. But they won't dare take five minutes. You can't get a Christian, amen to God, in the New Age church today to even pray for five minutes. Come on. I mean, if you get them to pray 30 seconds, you've done something good. Amen. I get so tired. You see Christians go out to eat. And they don't even pray over the food. Yeah, come on. I mean, come on. They get embarrassed when the waiter comes. Amen to God. He'll come there and hallelujah to God. You need to pray. Don't you stop praying because that waiter comes up. He should be respecting you. Amen come to God. On. While you're talking to Jesus. Amen. Go over to God. I know this is tight, but it's right. Amen. 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 The age in which we live in today. Hallelujah. We need to be like Eliza was. Grab that sword, amen, to God, and go into battle. Come on. Because there is a battle every single day. You have an adversary just as well as I do, and let me tell you who it is. It's not your next door neighbor. Come on. It's not your in laws. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's not your exes, amen, Come to on. God. It's the devil, Satan, amen, yeah. to God. The one who is trying to kill you to destroy your life, Come to on. mess up your walk with Jesus. He's trying to take your straight paths and make them crooked. Oh, I can't get no help Come tonight. On. Amen, good. to God. Will somebody help me preach this, amen, to amen. God? The Bible says the devil is your adversary. Yes. Yeah. He wants to bring you down. 
Come on. When you're joyful, amen to God, He wants to make you sad. Amen? Come on. Be on guard against the devil. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, come on, as a roaring lion, didn't say he was a lion, he says, as a roaring lion, yeah. amen. walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Come on. See, the devil is loose today. He's yeah. out getting those that are working for the kingdom. Amen. Bless you. Hallelujah. Excuse me. He's not looking for somebody who's not going to pray. Come on. Amen. He's not going to bother. Why does he need to bother? Because they're not doing nothing. They're not being productive for the kingdom. Come on. He's looking for those that are preaching the word, preaching the truth, that he wants to bring bondage and torment on, to lead them astray. Come on. He's looking for those new believers that when the Lord knocked on their door, they answered it. Amen to God. And let him in. Hallelujah. Come on. That's what Revelation 3.20 says. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and will open the door, I will come in and sup with him. You know that word sup in the Greek means fellowship? Come on. Amen yes. to God. Amen. Jesus is going to have fellowship with you if you let him in. Amen come to God. On. And that's Amen. not about salvation. That's just in general, praise God. Come he on. wants to talk to you. Amen, Amen. to God. Come he on. wants to know what's going on with Amen. you. If you've got a toy, Amen to God, he wants to know about it. Yeah. Praise God. If you've got a promotion, Lord Jesus, I got promoted because of you. Thank you, Lord. Come I mean, on. we need to just thank you for everything. Amen, Amen to God. Amen. But one thing we do need to thank Him more than anything is thank Him for His Word. Amen to God. Yes. Come on. Because with His Word we get victory. Amen. Look at Jesus in Matthew chapter 4 when He was in the wilderness when He went into the desert yeah. being tempted 40 days and 40 nights. <laughs> and the devil was there all the time. I, I get, I get him, uh, very amused at this story because Satan Satan knew who he was. He yeah. knew who Jesus was. Oh, yeah. But Jesus did this so he could show us, amen to God, how we can overcome the devil. Come on. See, I'm thankful he came down here in the form of a man, amen to God, yes. to go through what we go through, to see how it is, the struggles we go through. Well, Brother Mike, the Lord didn't go through this, amen to God. He went through everything you're yes. going through, amen, Come and on. then some, hallelujah. Amen. Don't you say praise God. Oh, he just don't understand. When he was on the cross, Come amen on. to God, you know what? You was on his mind, amen, amen to God. Amen. Somebody yeah. shout go over to God. I tell you, when he was on the cross, he wasn't thinking about getting a pain shot. Come on. He wasn't thinking about going to, amen to God, somewhere to get uh, uh, his wounds sewed up and get fixed up. He was thinking about you and me. Praise God. Come Hallelujah. On. Paying the debt of salvation. Come Praise on. God. Mending the gap, amen to God, between us and God. That's what he was thinking about. He oh, proceeded down the earth said, I'm going to have my children and love them, amen to God, and make a way, amen to God, when there seems to be no way. Hallelujah to God. Make amen. those crooked paths straight, amen to God. That way when you walk this straight and narrow way, amen to God, you won't get led astray by the devil, amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah to God. And if you keep His Word with you, pray. Hallelujah to God. I feel the Holy Ghost stirring up to my soul. Praise God. The Bible says in Psalm 119, it said, Thy Word, amen to God. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Praise yeah. God. So if you take His Word tonight, praise God, in this old world of darkness, and you turn that Word on in your life, hallelujah to God, you will be directed right, praise God, and you won't be led astray, amen, amen. to God, by the wickedness of the devil. Come on. Amen. Come on now. I know this will preach if you let me. Amen to God. Mm -mm -mm. So here, praise God. Back to Hallelujah 2 Samuel for a moment. I'm spitting everywhere. Y'all forgive me. Amen to God. That's right. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Somebody said, I don't like you spitting, Brother Mike. Well, praise God. I know I'm doing it. Come on. I just get to preaching, amen to God. Talking about Jesus, amen to God. It gets me so excited, amen to God. Come on. It gets me excited to minister the Word, amen to God. Hallelujah. I don't get tired of it. I love to preach for Him. Come on. Praise God for what He's done for me, amen to God. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now, He's good, amen to God. Amen. Hey, you may not think He's good, but I know He sure is good to me. Because I'll tell you, when I was laying up in that hospital bed, oh, here He goes again. I'm going to say it again because it gives glory to Him. When I was laying in that bed with tubes down my throat, praise God, being told I'd never talk again, being told I'd never preach again, being told I'd never sing again, being told I'd have to be fed by a tube the rest of my life. Sit in the wheelchair the rest of my life. I'm telling you, Jesus, amen to God. I said, I know I'm going to raise him back up to preach my word. I'm going to give him a first two anointing. Hallelujah. 
I'm gonna give you my word that he can overcome the devil. Oh, Woo! He shot up a full of my time. Glory oh, to God. I tell you, in the last four years, God has equipped me with a fresh new anointing. Oh. And we know the Bible says that the anointing breaks the yoke of bondage. And I'll yeah. tell you tonight, when you get equipped with that word, amen to God, you'll be like Elijah, amen to God. Hallelujah, oh. you'll go and you'll battle the Philistine army, amen to God. And you will come out victorious, amen oh. to God. Amen. Go over to the Lamb of God. And interesting enough here, David was with him, King David. Hallelujah to God. And the place they were at. Go over to 1 Chronicles real quick. Amen to God. I'm going to run through some history here. Real quick. Hallelujah. Oh, I tell you. How many feels the Spirit of God moving in you tonight? Amen. Go to I tell you, He's good tonight. 1 Chronicles chapter 11, verses 12 and 14. And it says, After him was Elijah the son of Dodo the Ohite, which was one of the three mightiest. He was with David at Pasadena. And there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, where was a parcel of ground full of barley, and the people fled from before the Philistines. And they, and they set themselves in the midst of that parcel, delivered it, and slew the Philistines, and the Lord saved them by a great deliverance. God is an on-time God. Amen? Yes, but I want to show you this. This place called Pasadena, which means the Dell of Bloodshed. Interesting enough, Eliza was here. King David was here, but King David had been there before. Hallelujah to God, because that's where he met Goliath. Come on. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, Praise God. Oh, y'all are here today. See, David wasn't king when he met Goliath. Amen oh, to God. He was a little shepherd boy yeah. that tended sheep. He was a little boy that played music. Amen to God. He come was on. that little one that said, well... Maybe he'll be something someday, but God said he's going to be something today. Because he came out there, he didn't go out with armor and a big old sword and a big old this or that. He went out there in the name of the Lord. Oh, Hallelujah amen. to God. I'm talking about he got victory in the name of Jesus. Amen to God. Amen. He said, well, he don't say his name. Praise God. Well, amen to God. I believe there may have been some word that that name had been spoken. Amen to God. Uh, he got victory. Amen to God. Victory over Goliath. And this is what gets me. He put that stone in that sling, Sister Reese. Uh -huh. A little shepherd boy, praise God, probably wasn't 100 pounds soaking wet. Come on. And he took that sling, and I'm sure Goliath was standing there mocking him. Yeah. That's the way the devil does you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See, ain't yeah. God, when God puts a purpose and a promise on your life, and you walk out there, the devil says, look at him. What can he or she yeah. do for the kingdom? Amen. What can that little ministry do and they've got maybe ten people in it? Come on. What can they do? I tell you, God sees you can do more. Amen. Come God. On. I preached this last time. Little is much when God is in it. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It don't take much for God to do something. Amen to God. So David went up there and he got that sling, got that stone in that sling. And he started swirling it. Come on. And next thing he gave it a fling. Come on. Boom! Right between Goliath's eyes. Amen. Amen. It said that he fell down. Amen. Come on. And then David, this is what you do to the devil, praise God. And boy, if you look at this in the spiritual boy, this will get you running the aisles for a second. David got Goliath's sword. Oh, come on now. He shall have on. on. Hallelujah to God. David got a sword, amen to God. Woo, I got me a sword in my hand, amen. Oh, Glory oh, to God. Hallelujah. David got that sword, and he went up, amen to God. Goliath said that little stone ain't going to do nothing. Knocked him flat on himself. Come David on. took his sword, chopped his head off. Oh, I'll tell you today, when you take the word of God after the devil, you got to knock him down and chop his head off. Amen oh, to God. Hallelujah. And Goliath, amen to God, was defeated. Amen. That spiritual Goliath in each one of our lives tonight. Come on. Hallelujah to God. It may be something you're going through, depression. It Come may on. be something financial. Come it on. may be something physical. But I'm telling you tonight, amen to God, God chose you and the world says you're nobody the world says you're nothing amen to God but God says look I see amen to God down the road he's going to be a king that's what he saw in David and that's what he sees in us amen to God because we're king's kids amen to God when amen to God he chose to save us hallelujah to God he says I'm going to raise you up amen to God in heavenly places amen. hallelujah to God he's going to do things for us that amen to God we've never seen before amen 
He's Amen. gonna elevate us in Him. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's gonna bless us. He already done promised in John 14, I believe it is. He says, "I go and prepare a place for you, yeah. that where I am, there you may be also." See how much He cares for each and every one of us. He's Amen. got a mansion. Praise God. He's building for us. Go over to God. Amen. He promised He's gonna make us new. Praise God. These old bodies we're wearing now, they're wearing down. They're getting down. Hallelujah, God. But He's gonna give us a brand new body. Amen. To God, no more aches. <laughs> And no more pains, glory to God. We won't have to worry about shedding tears no more over the loss of a loved one, amen to God. We'll never have to stand in front of another casket, amen to God, and say goodbye. Because I'm telling you today, there will be no more crying, no more tears, no more sorrow, no more death. For all things, those things are passed away. And behold, all things will become new, amen to God. Come on. Glory to God. I don't know if y'all feel this tonight, but man, I am just fired up. I feel the Holy Ghost stirred up in my soul. Amen. Amen. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hallelujah. So David knew here, praise God. He knew God was going to bring victory again. Amen. Because how many, I don't know if anybody else has ever went through anything, but how many has ever went through something, God got you through it, yeah. And months or years later, the devil tries to take you back to the same thing that you overcame. How many knows that's Come true? Oh, yeah. Praise God. See, David was back here at, at Pasadena yeah. with Elijah and the others Come on. Uh -huh. in the battle against the Philistines. Go over to God. Hallelujah. But before he wasn't king, now he was king. Amen to God. God giving him authority. Amen to God. I tell you, God will send you back to embarrass the devil. Come on. See, the devil's stupid, amen to God. He don't realize, amen to God, that when he takes you back to those old places that you've done conquered through the Lord, you're going to get victory again. You're just going to have another testimony to shout out. Glory! And the Bible says in Revelation, we overcome the devil by what? The blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus, yeah. for that blood and the word of our testimony. Glory yeah. to God. Amen. He already seen you was going to get the victory. Come All you've got to do is open your mouth and speak it. Come on. Glory! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. God is good to us. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We've got to take our swords, amen, to God. Start using them. Gripping them, amen, to God, which is the Come Word on. of God. Praise the Lamb of God. Yes. Elijah brought down the entire Philistine <clears throat> army yeah. with one weapon. Come on. His sword. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and said one weapon. Go over to God. I feel like I'm Fred Flintstone fixing to drive the mobile. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Yabba dabba do. Amen to God for Jesus. I'm telling you tonight, one weapon is all you need, and that's the Word of Almighty God. Yes, you don't need a bazooka. You don't need a hand grenade. You just need, thus saith the Lord. Amen to God. Oh. Hold your weapons up tonight. Amen to God. Hold your weapons up Amen. if you can. Amen. Tell the devil right now, hallelujah, you're a soldier in the army of the Lord. Amen to God. And God is our chief captain. Hallelujah to God. We're going to use, praise God, these swords right here to defeat the devil and the kingdom of darkness. Go over to God. Because we're marching and moving. Onward and upward. Go over to God. The kingdom of God is on a forceful advance. We're taking dominion, church, Come on. over the darkness. Come on. Go over to God. Aren't you glad we was given authority over yes. that through Come Christ on. and what He did at the cross? Amen. Tearing down the works of the enemy's hands. Come on. Tearing down those strongholds that He's come, come to put us in. Amen, Amen to God. Yeah. All those chains of bondage He tries to lock us up in. Come All on. them chains are falling off right now. Hallelujah. How many believes those chains are falling off? Amen to God. You can leave out of here tonight. No bondage in your life. The Bible says, Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Amen to God. Thank you, Jesus. I was thinking about something when I come in here tonight. I was thinking about that, that place in the Scripture where it says, We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to God. God dwells in the temple. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. We're His temple and He dwells in. His Spirit dwells in. Amen. 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 So if the Son therefore will set you free, praise God, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Yes. And if He's dwelling in these temples, uh -huh. now it said where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, right? Amen. Liberty means freedom. Amen. Amen. If He's dwelling in you, don't you know you're already free? Oh, I wish you'd grab that. Amen to God. If He's dwelling in you, 
and where he's supposed to be. And he said, where the Spirit of the Lord is, he shall not go on my top. Hallelujah. Where he's at, there's liberty. You are in freedom because of his Spirit being in you. Amen. Woo! Glory! Amen. Glory to God. Don't, don't look at me like I'm crazy. Amen to God. That's the Word. Amen. That is the Word, church. Amen. We got to start having confidence in our weapon. Amen. Amen. Having confidence in the Word of God. Amen. That oh. should be our final say. Not what the president says. Yes. Yeah. Not what the doctors say. Come on. Not what, amen to God, whatever says. The word of God should be your final answer. Amen, amen. to God. Amen. The final say in everything you do. Amen. I think it would suit us all good is if we took the word, praise God, and apply it to every area of our life. Amen. Whether it be, praise God, in getting dressed. Whether it be in buying things, spending money, hallelujah to God, relationships, everything. Yeah. If we take the Word of God, yes. amen to God, and apply it to every single area of our lives, let it have its course. Let it consume us totally, amen to God. You would see, yes. praise God, what a change it would make in our lives. Amen. See, that's why the devil feared so much that he had the Word <coughs> taken out of schools, amen? Yeah. Because when the Word of God was in schools, we didn't see the stuff we see today, brother, did we? Come on. We didn't see, praise God, all the different killings going on today like we've just recently seen with this young man shooting those people. Remember years ago in Columbine, was it Colorado? Yeah. All that that went on, they went out there shooting people because if they'd served the Lord, they would execute them. That's right. But blessed are those that were persecuted for Him. Amen Come to God. On. Because God has truly blessed them. They didn't bow their, their knee to the devil. They didn't reject the Lord Jesus. They said, I am a child of Almighty God. Amen to God. Oh. And I am a born again believer, not ashamed of it. Amen to God. Amen. That's the way we've got to be today. Yes, Hallelujah. Man. Get the Word back into schools. Amen to God. Amen. I'll tell you, it's sad today. But when we have to homeschool our kids, Come on. I mean, thank God for homeschooling because they don't put them around the garbage that's in the schools today. Yeah. Yeah. But it's sad, though, that they can't go interact with other people and talk about the Lord. Amen? Pray with them. They don't want kids today praying around the flagpole anymore. Come on. That's right. You know they used to have the groups assembled around the, the flagpoles in the mornings before uh, the start of school. They, won't, they don't allow that no more. It's wrong. Oh. Hallelujah. I wish the president would, amen to God, get a backbone. Yeah. I'm going to go down and say something, amen to God. How dare that man oh. apologize for the burning of the Quran? Yeah. Come on now. Amen. How dare he say he's a Christian and apologize to that false religion? Come on. How dare he be straddling the fence? Amen to God. It's time he get puked out. Come on. And I'm believing he's not going to be reelected again. He needs Jesus Christ to be his Lord and Savior, Amen. not Allah. Come on. He's a Muslim. Let's just be truthful about it. Come on. Yeah. When did it come down to the born again believers have to apologize to anything of the devil? Come on. The devil should be apologizing to us. Amen. Come on now. He needs to be coming and say, I'm sorry for the way I've done you. Come he on. needs to be apologizing to us. But then, them same Muslim people will take our Bibles and urinate on them. Oh. And they don't apologize to us. Amen. Something's wrong there, amen to God. And if we try to take a stand against them, we're persecuted by the law. Come on. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, amen. come on now. Y'all need to help me preach. Amen. Come on. See how backwards our nation is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are apologizing to the devil yeah. for destroying his work. Yeah. When they should be apologizing to the Christians Amen. Come on. Right. for what we do. Right. It, say, it breaks my heart when people will urinate on the Word of God. Amen. That is just a slap in the face. Am I mad about it? Not mad in a, in a sinful way, but just mad at the point to where I'm tired of the devil. Yeah. I hate the devil. Come on. I cannot stand the devil. The devil is yours and my enemy. You don't befriend your enemy, now do you? Come on. Not the devil anyway. It's time we get back and take this back for Jesus. Amen? Amen. It's time we stand up today, church. It's time we take a stand 
for the King of Kings. Amen. It's time that we stop being ashamed, hiding in the closet so nobody don't know. We pray that we're practicing born again, walking, talking believers. It's time that we stand up. Amen. And be the light we're supposed to be. Amen. 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 Praise God. But do we put confidence in the Word, in our weapon that we use? Amen to God. We've got to get familiar with this Word. That's why we need to pray every day. We need to study the Word all the time. Amen to God. And we would know what it says. We would know, praise God, the promises in that book are for us. Come on. If we're obedient to what He asks us to do, He will bless us. Amen. Come on. But we've Amen. taken blessings as meaning materialistic things. <clears throat> yeah. That's why we've got the stuff going on on TBN. And I'm not trying to be mean in anything. But all they're in this for is money. Come on. They will throw out a couple of scriptures, but they tie it in with money. God helped them. God set them free and delivered them for what they're doing. They're building a palace. Hallelujah. It glorifies man. Glorifies self. A greed spirit. And they don't realize they're being deceived by the devil. They really are. Come on. People years ago that would get on there and preach the gospel, sing the gospel. Yeah. You don't see them on there anymore. You see a modern New Age movement on there that says getting tattoos is okay. Come getting on. piercings all over your body is okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's wrong. To me, I still believe it's wrong you get tattoos Come on. on your body. Come I'm on. sorry, bro. I may be old-fashioned, amen to God, but I don't think you need to be fucking up your old body, amen, amen to God, with stuff. They said, well, if we put Jesus on there. No, he didn't say tattoo Jesus. You're being like the world. Come on. We were to be opposite of the world, amen? Amen. Hallelujah to God. That's why we were, we're, we're like aliens here, praise God. We, we're misfits. We don't fit in with the ways of the world, amen? How many knows what I'm talking about? Come praise on. God, you get around stuff, you hear... People talking about oh, going to bars and drinking and, and smoking dope and all this. It just bothers me. It makes you uncomfortable, amen to God. You can't be around that crowd, amen to God. Because what they're talking about and what I'm talking about and you're talking about, it don't go together. Amen. It don't fit. It don't fit. It's like trying to put a shoe that Hunter wears on my foot. Come on. It just won't work. Amen. Now, maybe if you break it and tie it up, maybe duct tape around it, try to try to make it work, it may fit for a second, but it's going to be uncomfortable. You won't be comfortable doing the things of the world right. if you're a believer. Amen? Right. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Know the Word. Use the Word. Amen? God, trust the Word. How many can say you trust what the Lord says? Amen? Come on. Amen. How many knows that He won't lie to you? Amen. The Bible says in Numbers 23, 19, God is not a man that He should lie. Hallelujah. Amen. Neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Amen. Has God not spoken a promise on your life? Come on. And not and you not seen to be performed yet? God don't give you a promise if he's not going to do it, amen. Right. Yeah. He's not a liar. The devil's a liar, amen. Amen. Or hath he spoken, and shall not make good of it, amen? Amen. God is true and faithful to his word, amen. Amen. That's why He wants us to take our sword and use it. Amen to God. Use the sword of the Spirit, praise God, that He's given to us. <coughs> Hallelujah. So we can give victory over our enemies. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Matthew 24, 35, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words, my words yeah. shall not pass away. I mean, this right here, this is our Bible, this is our sword, but it's, it's pages, it's paper, yeah. it's, it's, it's a leather binding. Yeah. The words in it is what's powerful. Come on. Not, not the actual materialistic yeah. book. It's the words in it that are powerful that will never change or fade away. You can't, no matter how much the devil over the years has tried to get rid of it, it still seems to be coming back more. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes. That's Amen. why I'm thankful for King James that he was obedient to God. Obedient to print the word out so they could understand it because the Catholic Church did not want. Come on. Them to read the Word because the Word would change their lives and see that they were lying to them. Amen. Come on. The Word uncovers deception as well. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, praise God, in 2 Timothy 2.15, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing mm -hmm. the Word of truth. Yeah. See, when you get in that Word and you get it in you, 
The devil can't deceive you. Amen. Yeah. What does it say in Psalms? Thy word have I hid in my heart yeah. that I might not sin against thee. Yeah. I believe we can have the word in our lives and we won't be doing sin. I believe that. I'm not saying sinless perfection. Don't, don't misunderstand me. But I believe we can get the word in us, praise God, and it will help us overcome the temptation from the enemy. Come on. Amen. Amen. Yes. It will help us to defeat the devil where we don't have to keep running back and saying, Lord, forgive me for the same thing I keep getting in bondage to. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Use the weapon God has given you, praise God. When it seems hopeless, stand upon the word of God. Hallelujah yeah. to the Lamb of God. Cling on to that word like Eliza did. Amen. Yeah. It said he smote the Philistines until his hand was weary and his hand clave into the sword. Yeah. He was exhausted, but he still kept on and on. Yeah. He trusted in his weapon. Amen. Stand to your feet with me tonight, please. Praise God. I tried not to take you too long, amen to God, but I wanted to give you this. Hallelujah to God. I'm going to read a few more things and then we're closing out. Amen. I've told you tonight about your weapon, which is the Word of God. How many Christians we have in here? It should be everybody, because I know everybody's a believer here. Yes. How many uses your sword? Come on, amen. 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 How many uses this Word, amen, to God to defeat the devil? Amen. Hallelujah. I don't mean get on Facebook and say, Hallelujah to God, I've got a Bible. No, I mean you get, you use your Word, amen, to God. Come on. I think Facebook is awesome. I think it can be used for the glory of God. But some people get on there and all they make it is a complaining place. Yeah. They just complain about everything. They give the devil so much stuff to use on <coughs> them. When they start writing it down and telling everything, they just let the devil have his way. When what they should be doing, I thank God for people who does it, take the Word of God, post it on there, and let other people read it. Amen to God? Because that may be some, for some, that, that may be the only word they ever read or see or hear. Yeah. yeah. When somebody clicks that like it, you know they've read it. Amen to God. Amen. If they make a comment on it, they've read it. Amen to God. Oh. Yeah. So it can be used for the glory of God. Hallelujah. If we want to see, praise God, victory in our lives, if we want to see the church filled back up with faith, what does Romans 10 17 say? Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Yeah. Yeah. If you want your faith to increase, church, <clears throat> Hear the word. Hear it preached when Brother Billy's preaching or whoever's preaching, amen, to God. Go back, take that word and check it to make sure it's of God, amen. Don't take it at face value. Not saying Brother Billy or myself or anybody would do you wrong, but it's good for you to go back, amen. amen. That's right. Do you want to live a holy life, amen, to God? <clears throat> John 17, 17 says, Sanctify them through thy truth, for thy word is truth, amen. Amen. His word will change you, amen, to God. Ephesians 5.26 says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Boy, it feels good when the word straightens you out. Amen? Amen. I love it because it cuts you going in, cuts you going out. But then God, after you're cut, he will mend that wound back. With his... Hallelujah. What a God we serve. Amen? Amen. Man, look at your neighbor and say, man, he's good. Amen. He's good. Hallelujah. Just give him an amen to God. Why? Go over to God. God. Do you want to see the church? Do you want to see yourself be filled with the power of God? Do you want to see signs, wonders, and miracles take place? Mark 16, 20 says, They went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. When you're preaching the truth, signs will follow. Amen. They should be. When you're preaching in the name of Jesus, you should see signs, wonders, excuse me, and miracles take place. It will follow. Amen. When this word goes out, it will bring back, amen, to God. It will Mom. perform and bring back what it's supposed to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. That gets you excited. How many is just excited about that? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. If you want to be totally committed 100%, do what Psalm 37 5 says, Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Yes. Whatever you're seeking His face for, He'll bring it to pass if it lines up with His Word. Amen. 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 So in general, as we are closing out now, Amen. You have a weapon, it's time to use it. Amen. Yes. The devil's loose. And it's time to start chopping him up and tearing him down. Amen. So he don't mind doing it to you. Amen to God. Amen. Embarrass the devil. Praise God. Tell your pro embarrass your problems. Take the word and start chopping those problems up. Amen to God. Hallelujah.
If you're in debt, start taking that word and speaking it over your checkbook and your finances. If you're in bondage, mentally, emotionally, start speaking that word over that situation. Amen to God. Amen. Amen. The Bible says weeping may endure for the night, but joy is coming in the morning. Amen. You can tell the devil, amen to God, when he's telling you there's no peace. You say, my Jesus speaks sweet peace amen. in my life. That's what he's promised. He's the Prince of Peace. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. Father, thank you tonight, once again, that we get to get in your word. Lord, we just pray that you would help us to take this word and use it, Lord God. The weapon you've given us, dear God, the word. Help us to use the, this word. Help us to use the name. Help us to, to use the blood, amen, to God. To use the, the spirit we have in us, Lord God. To walk through this life, amen, to God, in victory because of you. Be with us, Lord, as we depart tonight as we head out on the highways, dear God. Get us to our home safely, Lord God. Let us just take this word and apply it in our everyday lives, Lord. Forgive us in any way we failed you, Lord God. Forgive us in any way we've not uplifted your name. In Jesus' precious name we pray. And the church said, Amen. Amen. And Amen.